So right you now we have an update, two more deaths from friend Gully bus crash. Sarah and Peanut are about to you know. share the video right now. Subscribe, engage in the comment section. You are going now, take a walk with me. An 8 year old girl and a 58 year old woman succumbed to injuries they received in a bus crash in Fern Gully St. Anne on Sunday March 31st. This brings to three the number of persons who have died as a result of the crash. The child identified as Kayla Brown who was a student of Alpha Primary School, died on Saturday at the Bustamante Hospital for Children, while Noreen Allen of a Kingston 16 address died at the St. Bay Regional Hospital on Monday morning. They were a part of a group of 23 people going on a trip to a river when the bus hit an embankment and overturned. Susan Thomas, 49-year-old housekeeper of Wyman Street in Kingston, died at the scene. The police reported that the fault is tire may have caused the bus to crash so we have Suzet, 49 year old Suzet, the drop out right there on the scene so out of the 23 a one person did pass away but right now we are get updates that's a 8 year old girl and a 58 year old woman pass away so in total three you understand what well, i may tell you it drastic leave your thoughts and all some condolences to the family and friends part two of the heartbroken trip but before we jump into part two just a word of wisdom not everything you see on social media is what it really is because in that time when i was posting how i was doing the private helicopter tour carnival people carnival yeah now when i was posting the private helicopter tour or when i was going on the submarine or when i was going to the expensive restaurants for date nights i was by myself and i was happy and it was fun but in the moment after that it was right back to reality and you guys seeing me posting all these things would think hey everything is all glitter and gold on my side but it really wasn't so i'm just saying this to say be careful what you wish for and not everything that you see is really what it is now let's jump into part two don't get it twisted i still had us on me but i'm gonna change out too much money in a um an antiguan currency go to the airport now and go up to the counter airport empty and i say yeah i love this for me them airport always empty funny enough um yeah only for the people that ask me if i have one canadian visa some say no. So them say I have one US visa. Must say no, it expired, so that's not valid. The people them say, but you can go to St. Martin. No, this wasn't the night. This 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 wasn't the morning. My bad. This was in the night. Yes, the night. Um, it was a seven o'clock flight. Um, yeah, so them say you can't go to St. Martin unless you have a Canadian or a USA visa. I'm like, what? Then what am I going to do? No, you know who start crying because I'm ready to beg the people them put me on the flight and you know, I tell them, say, listen, even if you don't want to put me in a one holding area for go on the next flight, that's fine. I don't mind. I just want to get home. The lady said them can't do that because I in a COVID and um like them would have said the airport closed certain parts of the airport kind of close off or something of that sort. So nobody knew they for hold me in a cell till a time for the next flight. I'm like, what the hell? Seriously? Listen, look on my ear with because me I sweat I tell the story and the AC on. Listen, I start ball, I break down in the airport, break right down. I want, um, I want Johnny to come to me and she say, you're so pretty, why are you crying? She's all full of my eyes telling the story right now. But yeah, she say, you're so pretty, why are you crying? I mean, I explained the whole situation to her and she say, she go see if she can help me and she go for one immigration officer to come help me. Listen. God bless that lady so well. She could have helped me to get on the flight. <laughs> she could not help me to get on the flight, people. Um, cause like me say, um, 
there was nothing that they could do because certain parts of the airport were closed and it was in COVID time. The lady helped me to get a hotel and, um, you know, she was very nice. She could have helped me forget on the flight, like I said, but um, she, was, she was emotional support. My family were very supportive. You yeah, have, have a good support system, trust me. Like, I don't know how people without support systems manage. Anyway, um, she helped me forget a place and tell me the best thing I have to do I come back in the morning to see if I can get from one flight where I leave for come straight to Jamaica. Um, so I would come and just step and stand by. Sleep, wake up, come back at the airport, the pan stand by. One man never come for film flight yet, and right as them got close off me, I say yes, thank you, Jesus. Not the man that show up film flight. <laughs> if I could have punched the ceiling, I punch the ceiling at the airport. So you know, if I have full up of tears again, cause mind you, me give the whole of me um. Antigua and dollars, I remember what them call it. Took my driver, but him did more than deserve it. Anyway, back to the hotel, back to trying to book a flight. I try, I try, I try, I try, I try, I try, I try. The initial flight, I'm going book from Barbados to come to um Antigua, then to St. Martin, then to Jamaica. I want to travel company, I did use them. I mean, they said, I reach out to the people, them, and it was holiday, so it's hard to get them. Then my answer, but them response was slow. The people in the final flight for me now, I made up a final flight for myself. Come up, I look, I look, I look. The lady, I search, I search, I search. Um, she keep on saying, you know, like me, I tell her, say, I'm not call her name, but she know herself. Bless, God bless you. God bless you a thousand times over. Um, we're still friends to this day. She's a gem. A, a, a real gem um i say this good people still exist because when i went back to the hotel after not getting on the flight the morning um she kept asking like if me eat she kept offering to take something for me to eat my period come already for the month and it come back for sure you how stressed out i was um he come back and she called me and she said, if mom, she at the supermarket, if I want her, get anything for me. And I say, no, that's okay. Come I never want, you know, I don't know the woman. I don't want to tell her, say, you know. So, I say, it would have better if me come, if you attempt to the supermarket for me to get some stuff for myself. And she said, if I just tell her I want, I'm going to tell her, say, you know, I'm a cycle start. Da, 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 da. And she brought two types. She brought with wings and without wings and other stuff for me never want a dollar from me like she was just nice she was just nice it pays to be good because nobody can tell me say and am i good ways them cause god for make that woman here show up and show out for me i turn over there and over a motorcyclist is dead and his 13 year old billion rider in hospital with bullet tones following and attacked by a group of motorcyclists in salt spring and over on the weekend. The deceased has been identified as 19-year-old Heat Mary, otherwise called Juna of Green Island in the parish. It's reported that about 8.30 on Saturday evening, Mr. Mary and the boy were traveling on the South Spring Road when the other motorcyclist drove up and opened fire at them. Mr. Mary lost control of the motorcycle and crashed into a fence. Both the driver and the pillion rider were shot several times. They were transported to the hospital where Mr. Mario was pronounced dead. Why well, I may mean, I tell you? Now this brother, this 19 year old I got through with a 13 year old. And some other white boy just ride up. Look like a long time him after that youth, you know. Long time him want to buck him in a people and them see him I got through and they ride him down and shoot him up. So right now the 13 year old I fight for him life behind bars. Send out some speedy recovery for him. Why well, I may mean, I tell you at age 13? This youth already have the experience getting shot. Near death experience. Why am I tell you? 19 year old dead. 